Well, everyone, the iPhones in front of me have varying RAM capacities inside them. The 15 Pro has 8 gigabytes of RAM, the iPhone 14, 6, the iPhone 13, 4, and the iPhone SE 2, 3. So I already preloaded a bunch of applications in the background, and I want to demonstrate to you the power of having more RAM, but also sometimes it doesn't really matter how much RAM you have. All the apps can basically, you know, kind of load up around the same time. So I loaded up basically all the exact same applications on all of them. And the first application I loaded was the camera. And I want to showcase to you all basically how these iPhones kind of compare on the RAM side. So if I go back to the first application, right, let's go and load it up. So on the iPhone 15 Pro, let's see if this, you know, so this application was able to still keep this app in the background, which is amazing. Going to the iPhone 14, let's see if this one was able to. And this one was still able to, it didn't have to refresh. The iPhone 13, this one actually did have to refresh the first application. And the iPhone SE 2, let's go and see. This one actually did not have to refresh it. And that is very surprising to me that this iPhone did not refresh this application when the iPhone 13 did end up refreshing it. So a refresh is basically when that application has to go through and like basically restart as you kind of saw. So going back to the beginning, let's go back into this, you know, mail application, nothing super crazy. Let's go back to the 15 Pro. Let's go and open this one up, the 15 Pro. Able to open it up, no problem. The iPhone 14, let's go and do this one. This one, able to open it up, no problem. The iPhone 13, this one able to open up, no problem. And the iPhone SE 2, able to open it up. Now, those ones I was kind of expecting to kind of, you know, be good for the most part. Going back to the beginning, let's go and load up something a little bit more difficult. Let's go and load up, like, the App Store. Now, I think all these will basically be able to load up the App Store for the most part. I don't think there's going to be too many problems. But I am kind of curious to see because it is a bigger application than the other ones I just tested. So let's go and see this one. And a part of me thinks that we should you know, sort of well, open up the App Store first. Let's go and open it up. 15 Pro, able to do it. 14, able to do it. 13, able to do it. And the iPhone SE 2, able to do it from what I can see. So that's another really cool thing. Going out of these applications and going back to the beginning, let's go and see if there's any other big differences, which I don't think there are going to be. Let's go back into the notes. Going back into the notes. And like I said, I opened up you know these apps basically the same way. And there's a lot of apps that I opened it up. Some are very large. Notes 15 Pro, good. 14, good. 13, good. And the iPhone SE 2, we are good. So everything is still good here. It was very surprising to me that the iPhone 13 did load up or you know kind of refresh that first application. I'm not really 100% too sure why that ended up happening there. It's very, very strange. Now going back to the beginning once again, let's go and see what we can see. So the reminders up here, good. Reminders up here, good. Reminders up here, good. And reminders up here, pretty good. So, so far, we're actually seeing a lot of overlap. Now, let's go and get into a game. Let's go ahead and try Temple Run 2. Now, Temple Run 2 is a very large game. I would be surprised if all these are able to load them up perfectly fine, but it isn't that deep back in there. So, we can go and kind of see this right here. So, Temple Run 2, let's go and try it. 15 Pro, 3, 2, 1, good. 14, we are good. 13, this one did end up restarting again. So on the iPhone 13, you can see that the difference between, you know, six and eight gigabytes of RAM versus four, there's a pretty big difference. SE2, and this one also refreshed it. So when you start getting into these bigger applications, you can kind of see that if you're in the middle of something, if you're in the middle of like working inside of a bigger sized app, or let's say you're in the middle of like playing a big game, you don't want it to refresh, you know, in front of you like halfway through, right? You want it to still be there and be in the game as you're kind of going through it. And that's exactly what you're getting when you're getting a device you know, like the newer ones. The older ones kind of do, you know, will limit you in some ways from that specific perspective. So those games did kind of refresh there. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go and see what other games we have. We can try like Stack. So let's go and try Stack. Stack is a good one. So we can just try this one. So let's try Stack. 3, 2, 1 on the 15 Pro. Mess that up. You can see this one's good. 14. So the 14 was good. It did look like a refresh, but it was just the ad. 13. And the 13 did end up restarting the application as well. And the iPhone SE 2, I think, is going to restart as well. So there's a big difference as far as I can tell from these bigger applications, going from 3 to 4 gigabytes of RAM all the way up to, you know, 6 and 8 gigabytes of RAM. So what I'll definitely tell you is when you're, you know, kind of preloading and you're loading up a lot of games and applications in the background and getting a phone or getting a device that will basically have a little bit more power in front of it might be a better choice to do. And, you know, when it comes down to these types of applications, these types of, you know, phones, even 3 or 4 gigabytes of RAM is still perfectly fine. But when you start loading up and preloading those big games and you want them to last as long as possible and not refresh, definitely, you know, the 15 Pro, the 14, 6, and 8 gigabytes of RAM is definitely going to be the better you know, way for a majority of people. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. 
Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.